the nation's freight railroads, a crucial lifeline of the U.S. economy, teetered on the brink of a massive strike Wednesday over staff cuts that have led to what unions call brutal working conditions for the remaining rail conductors and engineers. Bargaining between the railroads and 12 unions, ongoing since 2019, came to a head in recent months. President Biden convened an emergency panel that recommended pay increases but failed to address union concerns over burnout, scheduling and sick pay. Federal law requires a 30-day cooling-off period that expires Friday just after midnight Eastern Time. Biden has been calling both sides, and Labor Secretary Marty Walsh hosted talks Wednesday in an effort to avoid a strike or lockout. If they fail, as many as 125. OOO rail workers led by the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers and Trainmen, and the Transportation Division of the International Association of Sheet Metal, Air, Rail, and Transportation Workers, could walk off the job Friday. Under the Railway Labor Act, Congress can intervene, block a strike and force the unions to accept the recommendations of the emergency panel. Senate Democrats on Wednesday blocked a Republican effort to impose a contract deal proposed by Biden's advisory board. A railroad strike could devastate businesses that rely on Union Pacific, BNSF, Norfolk Southern, CSX and other major freight railroads to deliver raw materials and ship their products, another possible burden for industries that have struggled through years of pandemic-induced supply chain snarls. Chamber of Commerce. They move 40% of the freight ton miles in this country. One third of all exports move by rail. If it's grain, if it's chemicals, if it's cold, it's moving by rail. The Association of American Railroads Trade Group estimates that a strike would cost the economy $2 billion a day. About 300. OOO barrels of crude oil is shipped by rail every day, and refineries might have to slow production if deliveries are delayed, according to the American fuel and petrochemical manufacturers. Analysts warn there could be shortages of gasoline and diesel in some places. New vehicles are usually shipped from the factory or docked by rail.